Amen. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to the book of 1 Kings. And we shall pray. I want us to, I really feel like we must pray tonight. And we are going to pray as we take this scripture and we dissect and we, 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 we digest it. 1 Kings chapter 21. E makaria tonde le betea. Jazate te rebebebe. Rade kabaturiande le masha zataya. Rande rebe katelia. Raba kabata de leandere. Jezotone makabalia. Rendere de shazatenea, Rabba kaba de batonaya, Remande le bradesh telebaba. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. The Bible says from verse one, it says, and it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard which was in Jezreel. It says next to the palace of Ahab, the king of Samaria. Verse 2 says, So Ahab spoke to Naboth, saying, Give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a vegetable garden, because it is near, next to my house. And for it, I will give you a vineyard better than it. Or if it seems good to you, I will give you its worth in money. Amen. Now I want you to understand, uh, even as we dissect this scripture, that looking at the first three verses of this scripture, I want you to know uh, that the life that God has given us, uh, the life of Christ, and everything that comes with it, amen, I want you to know that the value of what God has given us is priceless. There is nothing, there is nothing, no amount of money. Listen, as a believer, maybe you don't have a mansion, but the two by four square space that you have, I want you to tell you that, I want to tell you that it is priceless. Amen. It is precious. And you don't understand why you don't have a mansion, you don't have a Lamborghini, you don't have a limousine, but the devil is still fighting you because what you carry is greater than a Lamborghini, is greater than a limousine. Hey, the life of God, the Zoe, your faith, what God has given you in that queer square space of yours is mightier, is greater than anything. The contention that the enemy is contending with you is because you have a priceless asset that the enemy wants that he cannot get. Amen. Listen to what the king Ahab is saying. He's saying that he will give a Naboth a better land than that. Who would take something that is better and give it away for something that is worse. I want you to know the enemy is fighting you because of what you carry. The enemy is coming against you and you don't even appreciate, you don't know what you carry. But tonight I came to submit to you uh, that the Lord should open your eyes uh, to understand the value of what you carry. And he says, Naboth said to Ahab, the Lord forbid some of you, your, 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 your narrative and your response to the challenges you are facing must change. You have to know the value of who you are and what you carry. Amen. And there are things that there's and suggestions that the devil will bring your way that you have to turn around and say, the Lord forbid, the Lord forbid that I exchange the glory uh, that he has given me for something far, far cheaper. The Lord forbid that I exchange the time of worship for something invaluable. The Lord forbid that I exchange my praise and my worship for something unworthy. The Lord forbid that this land that God has given me, my inheritance in Christ, that I exchange it for something worthless. He says, the Lord forbid that I should give the inheritance of my fathers to you. So Ahab went into his house sullen and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give the inheritance of my, I will not give you the inheritance of my father. There are people, my brother, my sister, who because of your faith, 
will turn their backs against you. Who because you said, I will not compromise my faith. I will not compromise my time of worship and follow you here and follow you there. I will not miss the prayer meeting and follow you here and follow you there. I will not miss my Sunday worship and follow you here and follow you there. And for that reason, they will be sad and sullen. But I came to tell you tonight that you should let them go. Amen. Let them go. Hallelujah. Because the worship and the praise... The time of prayer cannot, cannot, cannot be compared to the places of pleasure and the places that you are going. Hallelujah. Stand your ground. Amen. And declare who you are in the Lord. Don't compromise your heritage. Don't compromise your inheritance. Listen, it doesn't matter what the enemy is suggesting to you. Amen. And it doesn't matter what you are going through right now. As you press on, as you value, listen, Ahab said to Naboth, I'll give you a bigger land and I'll give you a better land. Don't exchange what God has given you for something that seemingly is bigger and better. Don't exchange it. Makariataya. So he went and he was sullen and he was sad. The Bible says, displeased because Ahab said, I will not exchange, I will not give you my inheritance. So the Bible says, he lay on his bed and turned away his face and he would not eat any food. Let them be sad. Let them not eat. Amen. Amen. Because you will not compromise. Let them not eat. And listen, but the Bible says, but Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, why is your spirit so sullen that you, that you eat no food? He said to her, because I spoke to Nabat the Jezreelite and said to him, give me your vineyard for money or else and if it pleases you and I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered and said, I will not give you my vineyard. Then Jezebel, his wife said to him, you, not, you, now, you now exercise authority over Israel. Arise, eat food and let your heart be cheerful. I'll give you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. Now listen to what happened. And she wrote letters in Ahab's name. Sealed them with his seal. And sent the letters to the elders and the nobles who were dwelling in the city with Naboth. She wrote in the letters saying, listen carefully. Proclaim a fast and seat Naboth with high honor among the people and seat two men, scoundrels, before him to bear witnesses against him, saying, You have blasphemed God and the king. Then take him out and stone him that he may die. So the men of the city and the elders and the nobles who were inhabitants of the city did as Jezebel had sent them, as sent to them, as it was written in the letters which, had, which he had sent to them. And they proclaimed the fast and seated Naboth with high honor among them. And two men, scoundrels, came in and sat before him. And the scoundrels witnessed against him, against Naboth in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth has blasphemed God and the king. Then they took him outside the city and stoned him with stones, so that he died. Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Naboth has been stoned to death. Now, as we unpick this scripture, we are going to pray as we go along. Now, I want you to understand, listen, don't go sitting and eating in places that God has not invited you nor sent you. Listen, it's better to be a pew cleaner in the church than to sit 
in the seat of ungodly people who will honor you. And there are seemingly things that you know about that seem to be godly. It says proclaim a fast. There was nothing godly about that fast. And Naboth was going to be honored. And yet he followed and he pursued and he sat with these people. May God forbid that you will be found among people who will be offering you lip service and honor with their lips. Whereas they were about to kill and destroy you. In the letter, the invitation from, for Naboth all the way to his death were stated in the letter. But these same people invited Naboth and they gave him a seat and they seemingly wanted to honor him but they want to kill him. May you never find yourself seated among your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. And may God open your eyes from today to see those who pay you lip service with their honor but in their hearts they desire to destroy you. But one thing that I want us to focus on even as we pray right now is the ordinance that was written for the death of Naboth. Listen, we are praying tonight the ordinance that was written was because of his inheritance and what he carried. What belonged to him that he owned led to his death. Now we are praying right now wherever you are, I just need you to engage for a minute or two and lift up your voices with me right now that any unwritten ordinance lift up your voice I declare tonight in the name of Jesus that any handwritten ordinance is sanctioning my death say as I pray right now say by the blood of Jesus I blot it out I blot it out I blot it out whatever is written whatever is proclaimed whatever has been incubated say as I pray right now say I deploy the blood of Jesus and I nullify it I blot it out lift up your voices and begin to pray Reba kapa toria rate tene metaya jeze telebe rabaria pa pa kataya jaza tanali akate lebaria pa le katole baba iman dere beria rabamba le karia tole baba jeza taria pa le katolia iman dele lele jaza tanaya la baba reba ba le brando rokotole baba jele baria pa le baria la la lo do do so toni mama iman dele baria pa kapa jeza tene maria tole baba jaze tene lele le kabaria pa te kate la dere me tene bebe jaza tole baria pa le baba e baria kale baria pa Ale bale ba rata tane matane male ba 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 rabari ya pa tene ba 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 ratenda ni ya kabari ya tole ba ba jaza tana ba na ba na ba ratere ya tane de 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 jaza tane makabari ya ba repa ba le ya tole ba le ba le ba ratanda ni katere ya ba le ba jaza tane matari ya ba ba ratende le be 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 jazo tole maria ba le ba ba repa tete de ya rate makabate ya la iman de le ba ya tole ba ba. Jaza te ke taria e bele 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 be kapa te daria pa reta tale balaba we blot out i 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 blot out rapa pa le kataria i blot out ma pra kataria in the name of jesus listen 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 now in that handwritten ordinance in that letter where assignment assignment for the elders assignment for the scoundrels the witnesses and everything which means that uh, a, a, an orchestration uh, has been written uh, and in it everybody different people have been roped in have been contracted uh, to perform a specific function and i want you to know listen uh, there is nobody who goes to battle on their own and wins uh, even the devil needs somebody hallelujah uh, but tonight listen tonight uh, we are disarming and we are destroying uh, every malicious witness uh, those who are close to you let me tell you something when the bible talks about a witness uh, 
There is nobody that can witness against you that doesn't know you personally. There is nobody that can witness against you that doesn't know your form, that doesn't know your voice, that doesn't know your name. Otherwise, they cannot witness. For somebody to successfully witness that I saw somebody committed a crime, I saw somebody doing something, first they must ensure that the witness has seen the person who is being accused. Hey, there is an adage in my language that says that it is the rat out inside the house that shows the rat outside where the meat is hidden inside the house. So tonight we are praying. Lift up your voices. Say, as I pray right now, say, I disarm and I destroy and I remove every orchestration that is set against my life. Say, any witness that is called to witness against me, say, as I pray right now, say, I discredit them. I discredit their witnesses in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rabata rabata raba. Jaza takabaria pa. Repante reperia. Rapato de cateria. Jaza tanalala. Rapaparia tele baba. Jaze tele bebebe. Raparia pante le baba. Remanderia kapa. Jaza tone de baria. Rebate repepe. Jazo tone mataya. Rapaparia cate. Remande le beria. Jezante le baria. Jezante le baria. Ratata katala baba. We discredit every witness. We discredit every witness. We discredit every witness. We discredit every witness. Rapa bale baba. Rapa ria katele baba. Jaza kale baria. Rapa pale palia. Ratan talaba. Jaze teneria. Repa te kepaya. Rapa pale atole baba. Iman de le beria. Jaza tanalala. Retenelele. Kapo de pelebe. Jazo ria pa. Le pan telebe. Rapa ria pandere. Jazo tole baba. Le pa. In the name of Jesus. Now let me tell you, let's deal with, listen, let's deal with these witnesses for a bit. Amen. Now listen, Psalm 35 says, malicious witnesses. He said, they rise up against me and they ask of me things that I do not know about. And Naboth did not know anything about, eh, about the accusation. And yet, the witnesses and their voices prevailed. Let me tell you something. There are times when you have to know how to shut the mouth of witnesses. There are times when you have to know how to silence these witnesses. Amen. And listen, what is even amazing about this scripture is that they proclaim a fast. Similarly, we are fasting as a church, we are fasting as a family, and others are fasting with us. But unbeknownst to you and I, they are malicious witnesses. They are there not to witness the fast, but they are there to bring accusations, malicious accusations against you. And often those are the people sometimes we go and celebrate our achievements with. And before we know it, there are problems and there are challenges. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 35, the Bible says, let the them be caught in the same de uh, demise that they planned for me as they did pits for me let them fall in it tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let anybody that is witnessing evil against your life against my life against your destiny against my destiny say let them be shut up let their mouths be shut permanently. Let their tongues cleave to the top of their mouth. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voices right now. Kabaya baya, man terebe, rapato kapa, shaza teneria, rakate de baba. We shut them up. We shut them up. La paria paleba, 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 la paria paleba. We shut them up. La paria paleba, la tente rekete, la tente rekete, la tente rekete, la tente rekete, la 
Ratente requete, ratente requete, ratente requete, ratente requete, ratente requete, ratente requete, ratente requete. We shut them out, we shut them out, we shut them out, we silence them. Raparia katele baba, rapato le katele baba, jazete nere le brapa kabaya, repante le baba, jazato de balia, repele pelebe, raparia katole baba. In the name of Jesus. Listen, and I want us to deal with, listen, this Jezebel. A lot of people say, look, the, the Jezebel spirit. There's nothing like a Jezebel spirit. Jezebel is the name of a person that lived in biblical times. Is the wife of Ahab, a once king of Israel. But in Jezebel were many, many evil spirits. Rage, greed, anger, bitterness, strife. 